Hello, welcome to a PJCO instructional video. Today we're going to be looking at our secure file sharing website, Iris OpenSpace. This short video will quickly show you how to register and use OpenSpace. One of the main reasons we like to use OpenSpace is the fact that we can quickly upload files for you to view and approve. Vice versa, you can also upload files yourself to us that we can then look at as well. When we set you up for an OpenSpace account, you receive an automated client registration email. You will most likely also get an email from the person you've been dealing with at PJCO, letting you know that this is coming through and explaining some extra details for you. Please keep an eye on your trash folder, as sometimes these automated emails can go in there. When we set you up for an account of OpenSpace, you're likely to receive various emails. Often some same files have been added, sometimes same files have been requested for approval. The main one you want to start with is the client registration. If we click into here, it gives some basic information on how to use OpenSpace, but the main thing we want to do from here is to look at this link. This link takes you directly to the um, how to register your account, so from here, it starts with your basic details, and then you can do all you need to do is put in a password, confirm a password, and your account will be created. Once you have clicked on your password and created it, it then comes to this confirmation success page. From here, you can just click on the login, and you are taken to the login page. Simply put in your email address and password, and then click the blue login button. If at any point you've forgotten your password, simply follow the forgot your password link here, Enter your email address and press the reset button. If at any point you are unsure what email address was used to register you on OpenSpace, simply email someone at PJCO and they will be able to help you. When you initially log into the system, it will come up with, with the terms and conditions. If you really want to, you can read through all of this, but normally most people will just click on, I've read it. The next page shows what improvements have been made and updates to open space. You can just simply close this and it will open each time, or you can click don't show again, and it won't show you each time you log into the system. Now we go to the dashboard where you can see all the files you have and the different options you have on the left hand side here. You can see you're in the dashboard, but if you look here, this little greyed out section shows you what tab of open space you're on. The dashboard gives you an overview of recent files which have been uploaded, and you can see the date uploaded and who uploaded them for you. And you can also see how many files you've got. If there's a number here, that means you haven't read them. And you have a waiting approval. This is the amount of files which require you to take action on, which I will cover in a second. Now we can go on to the second tab here, which is your files. So if we click on that, now you can see your files has turned into this like grayed out section. So now we can see this will be your name up here or your company name. If you then click on here, it will take you through to your section of files. So this is what we saw right at the start of the video. From here, you can click on from PJCO, so that's what we've sent you. And from here, you can click on to PJCO, so that's where you could upload files. We want to look on the from PJCO. Once we are inside the from PJCO folder, you can see all the different letters or different items which have been uploaded for you. And this is an example of a new client that we've sent engagement letters to. These are all PDFs, but we might upload Word documents, Excel documents, it can all be uploaded. You can see the titles of what has been uploaded for you, and also you get a description. Somebody from PJCO might add a few different things here just to let you know what you might need to do with them. You also have the date it was uploaded that you can have a look at as well. Now, if it has a um, these approve buttons over here, this means these files, these ones which are uploaded, require you to actually approve to effectively sign that you've approved the document. To approve a file, you first must read it. To do this, it's very easy. Simply hover over which file you would like to read, left click, and it will come down with a download. If you left click on this, it then goes into the document. In this example, I've just got our logo, but quite often you will have the accounts letter or the engagement letter that you're looking at. If we close this, we can now click on the approve button. Once we click on the approve button, it comes up with this box here. So it lets you know the title of the item you're approving, just in case you've accidentally clicked on the wrong approve. It comes up with the IP address and the timestamp. So if we did want to, we could go back and trace where this comp the computer that this was actually clicked approve on. 
An electronic signature in court holds up exactly the same as a physical signature. So by doing this, you are effectively signing a document. So if you're happy with the document, you'd click approve. If you're not happy, you'd click reject. Once you click approve, it comes up. It might just take a few seconds to go through this and then it will come up approved with the date that you approved it. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the navigation around open space. So we've seen the, the uh, files which have been uploaded. So now we can click on, say, this e-approval tab. And we can see the files that we've had to approve. We can see this one has been approved and this one still needs to be approved. So we can see what we still need to action on. Uh, we can still go back to files. So we can still see the files that we've got here. Um, and we can still go to your files, which then takes us back to this screen. If you potentially had multiple companies, you might say have a few different companies here, which once you click in, you would then get to go to this screen from PJCO to see the different files uploaded to different companies. We can also go back to the dashboard and now we can see this has changed. We only have two unread uh, items because we've opened the other ones. And you can see that the items we opened have now disappeared from our sort of quick view reminder stage here. And we can see there's only one awaiting approval because we've already approved one file. The final item I will cover in this video is how to upload files yourself. To do this, click on the Your File section go back into your name here, but this time rather than from PJCO, you want to do to PJCO. It's very simple, simply click on the upload file section, click browse, navigate to what you want to upload, click, and then it will upload in, into here. Now we at PJCO will be notified that you've uploaded this file. Thank you for watching this PGCO video on how to use OpenSpace. I hope it was useful and keep an eye out for our other instructional videos.